Hello everybody and welcome to another video of mine. Uh, just a short one for you today and uh, this one is going to cover uh, cleaning the wheels on your locomotives. So I'm going to use my Powerline T-Class for example and as you can see, no, I'm not sure how the camera can pick this up, but wheels are quite dirty so I need to give this a bit of a clean so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now keep in mind this is my method um, on how I clean my wheels. Uh, there's heaps of different methods out there, so uh, just pick a method that works for you and uh, that works for your locomotive too. So this is how I do it, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so a uh, few things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need some cleaning fluid. I like to use methylated spirits, works pretty good, so that's what I use. Uh, you can use isopropyl alcohol or any other types of cleaning solutions. Just choose one that's best for you. So uh, I use methylated spirits and I've had no issues with it. You're also going to need paper towel and you're going to need a couple of weights to weigh down the paper towels. Now this next item is just what I prefer to use and that is a wagon. I like to couple up the wagon to the locomotive and um, that way I can hold the wagon without having to hold the locomotive. Uh, I just prefer to do it that way because I don't like holding the locomotive because you apply a little bit of downwards pressure and that heats everything up. So by holding it with a wagon, it uh, stops everything from heating up basically. So that's why I like to use a wagon. Uh, you don't have to use it, that's just what I like to do. So. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, we've all set up. The locomotive's powered up, so uh, let's just roll the front bogey onto the paper towel. So now I'm holding on to the wagon. Just gonna give it a little bit of juice. Get it rolling slowly. And I'm just going to start building up the speed gradually. You don't want to build the speed up quickly. You just want to build it up gradually. So that's now at full power. So, uh... I'm going to do this for about a minute or two and uh, I'll show you the results. Okay, so I've now had it running for a bit, so uh, let's power it down. Again, power it down gradually. Alright, so... Uh, see what difference that actually made. Wow, that's uh, yeah, it's made a big difference already. And um, as you can see on the paper towel, it's quite a lot of grime that got off those wheels. So uh, basically, I'm just going to do the same to this bogey here, and uh, I'll put you back on. Okay, so that's the result from doing the other bogey, and wow, that's quite dirty. So, uh, my Powerline T-Class is hopefully going to run quite a lot better now. So, uh, before we finish up, there's still one thing we need to do, and that is we need to dry the wheels first before we can put the locomotive back out in service. Okay, so I've just turned the piece of paper towel around, so uh, let's dry these wheels. Now you probably only really need to dry them for around 10 seconds or so, so uh, and you don't need to have the locomotive going at full throttle, so I reckon that's plenty for this bogey here. And I'll just swap it over, do the other side.
And this also gets a little bit more dirt off that perhaps didn't come off the first time. So, uh, yeah. That's no, good. So now, let's check out the results. Yeah, those are quite a lot cleaner than they were before. And uh, to show you the pad here, as you can see that got a little bit more off, so you know, it worked. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much how to clean your wheels on your locomotives. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this was helpful or useful or informative to you. And um, let me know how you clean your wheels on your engines and rolling stock. So uh, yeah, and in the future I'll cover cleaning wheels on your rolling stock. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.